What's going on YouTube? Man, I got a question for you today. And please, somebody answer this question for me. Who the hell is the man? The man is holding me down. The man is keeping me from succeeding. The man, the man, the man, the man. Is the man like this guy that looks like Benjamin Franklin that lives like in Indiana with his glasses pulled down? Some big overweight white dude who's just sitting there signing everyone's check He's in charge of everyone's ideas, everyone's success, and if you don't make it, it's that guy in Indiana that looks like Benjamin Franklin's fault. It's his fault. Blame it on him. You know, I was looking at a Facebook thread today, and these people were arguing back and forth. Someone was shocked, and they were very angry. And then in the middle of the conversation, someone said, you know, I'm tired of all these killings in our community, right? It's the man's fault why this is happening. So the man just went and pulled the trigger and, and killed that guy. It wasn't the guy's fault. Maybe something escalated and all of a sudden he became a little heated and all of a sudden he pulled it out. But you gotta blame it on somebody, right? Because, you know, when we don't succeed, when we get fired, it's the man's fault. The man is holding me down, right? But really, is it really the man? Does the guy in, in, in Indiana who looks like Benjamin Franklin, does he have all that power? Really? That guy has all that power. It couldn't be that you woke up late, that you have no ambition, you haven't read a book since high school, you don't save money, you buy cars and clothes to impress people who don't like you anyway. You know, you live in a house that you can't afford, don't have any savings, don't do any investments, don't know anything about investments, don't know anything about stocks, nothing, right? But it's his fault. You don't hang around good company. If somebody brings up something that's out of the box, and when I say out of the box, I mean not in a normal conversation like what, what uh, album is coming out today, what who's on this show what time that show comes on what game is coming on if it isn't in that conversation you don't want to talk about it you're allergic to it but all rich people are bad you know it's so funny when i was broke and couldn't rub two pennies together and i started on this journey to understand how wealthy people thought the first thing that i i gained right away was immediate respect they were good in health. They ate good. Hung around good people. Stayed away from bars. Didn't spend much money. Had a lot of money. And gave most of it away. I don't think you heard that last part. Had a lot of money and gave most of it away. But they didn't give it to J.C. Penney's and Macy's and all those other things. No. They gave it to uh, children's hospitals. They built hospitals. They gave it to uh, non-profit organizations. And they didn't need their name spread out on billboards that they gave it. They gave it in secret. How do you think those things are funded? They're not funded by poor people. But poor people can sit on their ass and they can talk about how these guys are the scum of the earth. But poor people are the same people who will be on food stamps, who will take money from the state, drive brand new Cadillacs, live in Section 8 homes, right? Stealing from the government, but those guys are evil. Rich people are, you know, uh, they even create verses that said, it's easy for a camel to go through a needle head than a rich man to go through heaven. Really, that doesn't mean that. Create Bible verses to, to put these people down. These rich people give people jobs. Poor people are not creating jobs. But these guys are all bad. The man who looks like Benjamin Franklin living in Indiana, he's bad. <laughs> so can someone ask the question, who the man is and why is he holding us back? So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching this channel. Please subscribe. Just rambling today, Wednesday. 
Wednesday Ramble. Just a little something. So with it said, guys, thank you. And until next time, signing off.